sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. I just choked down chocolate chip cookies and grandpa's femur. Fem- fem- femur. Did we make money, mon- mon- money now? <laughs> no, we had to pay So down. this episode, it's just like, too slippery. I, I'm slicing everything. <laughs> Every time I swing my five iron, it goes up that guy's ass. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the Sad Dads Club Podcast. Here's your host, Jim and Boo. Welcome to the Sad Dads Club Podcast. I'm Jim. I'm the Foo. We're here for another exciting show. Yes. Exciting. We've got Cunnilingus <laughs> as a guest a little bit later. <laughs> uh, no, no, we don't. Yeah, no. He's a stinky. <laughs> He has a shining face. Yeah, he does have a shiny face. Um, yeah, so uh, how's it going, man? It's been... You've been busy, huh? It's been busy. Yeah. Like, and it started to get hot, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest. Well, I can tell I, when you're busy. It feels like uh, time. Like, the distance between shows... Yeah. Like, I know we're like, oh, you know week? that sense of time when you're like, uh, it happened earlier. I'm like, man, I, I thought it was end of day. Uh-huh. But yet when I start to think about the length of time between that it's been between shows, uh-huh. I swear to God. It I'm, feels longer? Uh, no, it feels oh. shorter. I'm like. Didn't we just do this? It didn't. I feel like time might be slipping away from me. Are we doing two a week now? Yeah, well, could we? I, it's very weird. Huh. Like, some sense is. You know, the loss of a day. Like, I don't know what day it is. But yeah. yet, the concept of, man, I feel like we were just here. <laughs> was I, did I actually spend all of the time credits that I could have, should have, would have in that week? I don't know. Now I feel like I start like running through, did I manage my time well? I don't, I'm back. And we're doing the show again. Like, fuck. I hope I was productive. Was I? Maybe. I have done a lot of things. I mean, you know, it's, Hard because of the you know you're working and then you have stuff you got to do yeah and the honey do list is fairly long yes and never seems to get shorter right so you know it feels like you're doing a lot of stuff like on the weekend I just get captured into doing things it's not like we can go anywhere really. yeah there's nowhere to go yeah I'll be interesting to see how tomorrow plays out because I think the governor was supposed to start talking about what his scope of relaxing some things were. Yeah. But I know that he's got some business things that were going to get relaxed a bit, but I don't know. But I feel like that's not going to be, it's not going to affect us that much? Probably not, but I think if people are told small gatherings of 10 or less, I think that may go a long, excuse me, a long way for morale. Not like, yeah. go have house parties and shit like that. Right. But if they said, uh, you know, not in your house, a social gathering, uh, you know, like we've got going out here for Venus. Ha- hashtag hi, wife. Hashtag happy birthday. Happy birthday. But, uh, I mean, yeah. You know, you know, small things, I think, where people don't necessarily feel like they're breaking rules. But well, I mean, they're hanging around out front, and it's they were just when I pulled up, they were talking about how awesome it was just to be able to go and hang out with people, right? You know, and they're you know, apart, they're apart, you know, but not it's not like when we're they're all separated out in the front, chilling at West House, but like the ability to say it's okay to get together with a handful, yeah, of homies, don't go inside and start swapping drink cups and shit like that but if you're gonna hang out in front of a, a small campfire or a you know a you know something and have bring your own beverages and you know sit on somewhere in chairs and you, you're fine well i ran into you saturday at yes lowe's yes what was that experience like would you think a hell of a lot more than that was going on in a you know, on the lawn, yeah. and I know where. And well, Venus knows exactly where all of her lady friends are and were. Mm-hmm. Whereas you and I were standing. You know, I know where you were, so I pulled up right next to you with yeah, my cart. Sure, but 
the 99.999% of the people that were in that line after the all of the six-foot blue marker things on the floor were gone, <laughs> yeah. we're not six feet from each other. No. We were wearing masks, yeah. as we should and as you should, yeah. but some people weren't, and there was certainly not six feet between most of those people in line. It was really busy. There was, was a lot of people there. It was, and I meant to send you something, so... Yeah, we were at Lowe's. Yeah. Uh, the line, I meant to send you something to get like a timestamp, like when you left, like oh. when you got checked out versus when I, so when I circled back, and it happened exactly as I said. So here, here's here's the theory of the new shopping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? Yeah. And it was uh, last week, last, so this goes two weeks back. Uh, I went in with Venus to Lowe's to get a handful of stuff. Yeah. And we have what we wanted, uh, and then we go to check out, and the line is just ridiculously long. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, I don't want to stand next to someone again, like outside of the little mark, the foot markers, where not everyone's abiding by, you know, right. a, a, a proper distance, yeah. and not everyone's wearing a mask. So we go, and we just mingle back around in the store, and just wait for the line to die down. Right. Well, exactly what happens is you think happens is is someone with burning money in their pocket kind of thing. We ended up in killing time, find <laughs> fifteen minutes more of shopping that gets done, and we add more products to the thing. Yeah. So exactly as I told you, when Rose I Rose is like, yes, 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 continue about your lining. Keep, keep. Browsing. Yes, yes, the line. So when I I ran into you, I wasn't even done. I told you exactly what I need. You know, you were empty. You didn't. I didn't, I didn't have anything were, to think. But I'm yeah. like, I need brackets. I need something. It was like three or four things. Yeah, you, you were getting RJ45 plates and yeah, and, tops. Yeah. It was like a handful of things, tops. And then I made the joke. I'm like, yeah. So you know, if it's still this long, I'll just keep killing time walking around the store. <laughs> but then I go and buy more shit. <laughs> right. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I, I got done, I got my like handful of shit in the cart, and I felt stupid for having a cart because I, I you know, you I didn't, didn't have, have a lot of shit. <laughs> I had like a, a yeah. Homer bucket worth of shit. Yeah. And then I go and I peek back down, and I look down on the thing, I couldn't see you, uh -huh. but the line was still- Pretty long. Like uh, almost out to the garden area. Oh, and I wow. went, fuck this, uh -huh. like hell no. So I did exactly what I said I would do. I went and like, okay, well, what else was on my list or what can I pre-buy? So that way, exactly what we talked about in last week's show, yeah. like trying to get something to head off the need of materials in a project that I haven't quite started yet. Uh -huh. So I go back up and down the aisles and I'm looking for like, okay, I, yeah, I should probably get one of these because when I get to that one, you know, yep goes in the basket. Mm -hmm. So then I realized, wow, what a smart idea it was to have a card because I got tons of shit. Mm -hmm. And when I went to go look and get in line, the line that went from the registers out to the garden area was gone. And I went, fucking money. This is exactly, I <clears throat> game the system. So you spent a little more, but got in a right. shorter line. Except what ended up happening, it was a fucking dupe. Oh. When I went, I'm like, oh, oh, where's the line? So I went to go get in line uh -huh. and started walking towards the registers. Uh -huh. And what they had done is they had taken the line that went out to the garden center and they flipped it towards the construction stuff. Oh, shit. Like the main construction exit. Okay. So the line that was as long as it was when I met you just went the other way oh. instead. So it doesn't didn't cut off the entrance to the main right. main doors. Yeah. And it wrapped all the way down to like the fucking plywoods and two by fours and whatnot. Now yeah. I, went, <sighs> well, now I, I've I've shopped essentially twice. I just I ended up going. You spent out to, more money. Yeah, and you're still waiting. I'm in like the God line. damn it! So I ended up going out to the garden garden section line. Yeah. Uh, because I'm like, well, the chances are I'm well, not going to start grabbing bags of soil. So I just one, went to garden. Well, that one tends to be a little shorter too, in general. Like most people, the want. garden. Yeah. Would yeah, it? I think so. And yeah. most people aren't buying shopping carts worth of shit yeah. and checking out in the garden center. It's like now, 10 bags of soil or something. I mean, something. I will say this. I think the after you saw me, you saw me in that line, I was like by the barbecues. Yes. And uh, that is pretty long line. That only took me about 
seven or nine minutes or so to well, get through. So they through. whipped through you guys pretty they fast. They were whipping through. The week before I was in there, uh, line wasn't nearly as long, just past the paint section. Mm-hmm. Um, this is probably a funny conversation for anyone listening. Well, just past the paint. Yeah, past the paint. Uh, but just past the paint section, and uh, what I noticed was I got in line. There were people behind me. By the time I got to the checkout, I turned around. The line was completely gone. So, I mean, literally, if I had just waited 10 minutes, it, the line would have been mm. gone. They didn't, it wasn't going the other direction. There was just nobody yeah. else in line. Yeah. And what sucked about when I saw you is I literally just came in to get some painter's tape. That's all I needed was painter's tape. So I bought two rolls of tape. <laughs> and spent. And I only spent like, you know, 14 bucks or whatever. Right. But, but it was a 45 minutes yeah, kind was, of thing. Yeah, it ended up being, you know, 10 minutes in line just to get two rolls of it tape. It was interesting, too, because we were talking about uh, my brother had reached out to me. He was like, hey, do you have a three-quarter inch PPC coupler? I'm like, oh, I don't think so. And he's like, yeah, that line for my Home Depot down closer to Citrus, yeah. Citrus Heights, is 30 minutes just to get in the store. Oh, wow, 30 minutes? Yeah. And I went, Ew, no, no. Uh, and I said, I, I've been to Lowe's a number of times on, on a couple of weekends. They just I, let you in. I haven't seen a line yeah. to get into ours. Now, that doesn't mean that Venus, I think Venus saw a Facebook thing saying that uh, one Saturday, two weeks back, that there was a line. Uh-huh. But the times that I have gone to Lowe's on the last two to three weekends, I've gone straight in. Now, the checkout, yeah. obviously, as we just discussed, the checkout right. is is less than to be desired, but there was no problems getting into the store. Yeah. Uh, you know, she's like, well, I wonder why that is. Well, a Home Depot is uh, only allowing a certain number of people into the store at a time. Right. And they have counter people on the inside and the out, and so they have apps on their devices. And they're counting. And they're, like, tapping out how many people are coming out, and they're tapping in how many people are going in. Oh. So that's why there's a line. It's so just do you for think that in. Lowe's isn't counting? No, they're not. Or is They're it just, just letting everybody or in. Or that Lowe's doesn't have the customer population. No, you saw how busy it was. Right. Well, I mean, that's for checkout. I the, mean, it's possible that everyone ended up. I mean, the parking lot was full. I had to park, like, out by the street, like, all the way at the other far end of the parking lot. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it was crazy busy. Hmm. Um Lowe's just doesn't have a stipulation on how many people can be in the store, and that's part of the social distancing angle that the Home Depot is doing. Mm. By only allowing a certain number of people in the store, they're technically limiting exposure to people by not having it be as crowded. I can appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. You know, I don't like waiting in line to then wait in line, but I can appreciate that. But even so, the lines at Home Depot... Cause, the thing of it is, is we've bought paint for things at Lowe's and Home Depot, so yeah. now it's a pain in the ass to remember where I bought paint where for what yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. But uh, when I had to go to Home Depot, it was like you waited in line. There's less people in the store. The lines are shorter. You're not going to get more people in the store because they're regulating it, mm. right? So yeah. the lines are going to be just maybe if uh, everybody just rushed the counters at once. Yeah. Um, but what I don't like about Home Depot is their self. It most they have everything is pretty much self check now, mm-hmm. and it's a pain. It's just a hassle. I don't know. I don't still like the way it's set up. Lowe's, you have the option. You can go to a check stand or you can go to the yeah. self check. I, I and I don't mind using the self check, but just the way Home Depot's set up and structured, their self check's kind of a pain in the ass, in my opinion. Is but, it? Yeah, I mean, not really, but it is. I haven't had a problem with the Lowe's one. It's been a while since I've been in Home Depot. So Yeah, I don't typically like Home Depot as much as I like Lowe's, Yeah, even though I think Home Depot's prices are slightly better, mm. but whatever. Yeah. I prefer to go to Lowe's. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I do as well. But anyway, so yeah, yeah. It, it, long line, spent more than I wanted, yeah. and then I spent, was that Saturday? That was Saturday. The rest of that Saturday, I spent knocking out, like up until 10.30, knocking out honeydew shit. Mm-hmm. It was a fucking productive day. Yeah. And then- oh, I busted my ass on Saturday, man. Yeah. I was trying to finish getting the back of the house painted, um, and we just ran out of tape for taping off windows. Yeah. And it was one of these things where it's like, 
we got all this old paint underneath the eaves that are like flaking off and so that all has to be knocked down Mm -hmm. so you're getting up in between all the the beams and the eaves and like Mm -hmm. scraping it down with like a broom to get all the stuff down and then getting up on a ladder to being able to spray and i got my sprayer working so i was spraying up under the eaves Mm -hmm. and then my wife everyone was in the backyard kind of doing something but my wife was back there with a leaf sucker and they were both on the same circuit. So every time she would turn the leaf sucker on, it was like my sprayer is now putting out half the paint that it would oh, normally. Oh, oh, yeah, so yeah. then it was like taking twice as long for me to cover spots because it would just, you could literally f- hear it go, <laughs> you know, and you're like, <laughs> fuck. You know what I'm saying? It was totally Suck. Gone. Yeah, it was totally annoying. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to tell her, don't, right. don't be out here doing shit. Thank you. And I tried to separate them out to different uh, breakers. Yeah, yeah. And we switched the plug to an. Oh, that was the other thing, is my smoker was running. So I have my, oh, it's yeah. electric smoker, yeah, and yeah. it really needs its own because you you can't really share anything on it because then it will have trouble keeping heat. Yeah. So when the smoker's running, I was like, you can't plug anything into this. So now we're running stuff into the house, <laughs> and so we had the. <laughs> We had her the sucker the leaf sucker plugged in somewhere, and I was have it getting annoyed with it. So I'm like, let's switch it to another. Well, we popped a breaker when I switched my painter to another thing. Yeah. So I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Yeah. So anyway, it was just like so. We ended up having to be in the same plug as dealing with half dealing with half, the half spray. Half power. Do you yeah. have your because I, I was gonna do you have your breaker mapped? Like what outlets go to what which breakers? You know, when they put that house together, mm-hmm. it was like they those motherfuckers. They didn't. They're not separated. It's not like one room has a breaker. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's like one room shares plugs with the hallway and something else. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Because our ours isn't. And a number of times this has happened in the length of time that we've owned the house. It's like yeah. Uh, a couple times it happened in between kids. Uh huh. One was like before kids, and it was I'm gonna map out where all the breakers go because I on have, there on the thing it's got I dream of this lights, plugs, yeah, washer, dishwasher, yeah, dryer, garage. And there's like four but, or five breakers that are like lights, plugs, lights and plugs. Yeah, and I'm like one of these days, and at some point. I have stopped and started like a a you know a uh-huh. breakdown of like which ones go to where. I would love to do that. And I got started again on Saturday. I got pretty damn close. Uh-huh. And we've been chasing this thing in Piper's room. Yeah. For the longest time. And it was when I removed and this is partly my fault. When I removed her ceiling fan because she yeah. she wanted a like a bunk bed set up yeah which would obviously be dangerous with the ceiling fan right uh so we put in like a flush mount light and took out our ceiling fan well it had like a switched power yeah and at some point uh f- however i rigged it the hallway outlet that's just outside of her door uh-huh. became a switched outlet with her light so, so when you flip on her light, that also turns the, on. The socket would turn on, <laughs> and it would. And all we have in there is How like one of those hell? like hallway like power save lights. Uh-huh. It's like a illuminating light when it gets dark. Yeah. So it was essentially always on. It's like running on its battery thing, uh-huh. like in a dimmed mode. Like oh, it must be dark because there's no power here or something. Until she, it would get night, and she, and would, she would turn her on her light, and then the thing would like brightness and. <laughs> You know, it asked my wife. It was a pain in the ass. Like, is it, someone needs to fucking fix it. Anyway, so I'm mapping out the things. Well, let me ask you this, because I know we have some switched outlets in the house. Mm-hmm. Only one port of the two outlets is usually switched. No, ours was both. Oh, it's both. Yeah. Interesting. So her her entire room was on a on a same circuit. Okay. At, in addition to the hallway light. Okay. And I had just hot wired it wrong into the what was left of the ceiling light stuff so it had anyway it was hitting the switch yeah. so i fixed it okay. totally fixed it and it was like super awesome daddy moment i'm Woo-hoo! like nailed it uh, until as i'm like mapping out plugs and breakers uh-huh. i could not figure out where the 
fuck the breakers were for the bathroom outlets. Uh-huh. The bathroom outlets were not on the same breaker as the bathroom lights. And I went, how bizarre is this? Like, oh, because they're GFCI, probably. Uh, they're not. They have to be. They're not. What? But you would think that they're not. I can, In the bathroom? Can't explain it to the you. The plugs? The plugs are not GFCI. Well, they might be tied to a GFCI breaker somewhere else in the house. It probably won't have its own GFCI. So if you have one in your be- in your bathroom... They're uh, tied to Piper's breaker, which is not anything special. What? Uh, yes. In the bathroom? And it wasn't until I went through all my breakers <laughs> trying to figure out, like, well, maybe when they put in the sub panel for the addition, wow. they put the GFCI circuit for the bathroom and the kitchen that's, in something in the new sub panel. That's an oversight, I so think. So then I went... <laughs> To all my all the new edition sub panel breakers, yeah, not there. And I'm where the fuck is this thing? So then I went back through all of the the sockets of the old panel, the original panel, yeah. And I'm testing this because for whatever reason, normally I'll I have my like electric pen, but sometimes if you jiggle your pen wrong or you, you do something, or maybe a static electricity, I don't know. But to me, sometimes the pen is like a false positive. So in order to make sure that I know 100% if a switch is hot or a light is hot or a socket is hot, I'll have a light bulb uh-huh. on like a plug. Uh-huh. I couldn't fucking find anything like that in here. <laughs> so I'm walking around with my air compressor for my airbrush. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, and fucking you, goddamn, I knew if it was on because yeah. I'm like, fuck, yeah, see, that's how it works. Yeah. You, know. you can hear it. Can anyone hear yeah, okay, that socket goes to that socket. Yeah. So I'm walking around with my air compressor, <laughs> and I I have it turned on in the bathroom, uh-huh. and then I go shut off Piper's breaker, and sure shit, the, the, her ba- the guest bathroom that's right across from her room goes off, but the lights are on. I'm like, okay. That's bad. So then I go back into- Here, kids. The the master bed. <laughs> go ahead and plug some yeah. shit in here yeah, and get just, the tub. That's probably why they have disclaimers on the toasters and the hair dryers. Don't take a bath of these, because you'd be <laughs> fucked in my house. Oh, my God. Uh, then I went into the master bath and plugged the c- compressor in. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so this is it. Went and turned on and turned off Piper's Breaker and goes on and goes off. I'm like, fucking- So the master bath sockets map- to the guest bath sockets, map to Piper's bedroom. Oh my god! The whole thing. That's weird. I'm like, oh boy, but I did get it mostly mapped. Okay. Well, I'd love to do. You know what I thought would be in my mind? I'm like, a something that you plug in that has a bulb on it or a light, like you were talking about. Yeah. And fucking put one in every one of the house and just have them all on. Yeah. It look maybe an LED or something. <clears throat> Turn go turn a breaker off and go look at all of the ones that are now out. Yeah, and right? like I, I, Ted, I think mentioned so. So they have like a it's a one shot device. Like you can plug something. I have one. Uh-huh. It's like a you plug something into a socket, and then you go out to your breaker panel and you you can like find. Oh, it'll where, buzz. It'll <laughs> or light oh, okay. up. Mine does so like it's basically beeping. just buzzing. But it's, from it's reverse. A, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a one plug thing. Yeah, you're not. That would be nice. Yeah. Or to have some sort of like way to reverse. But you would still need like a tone. You'd have to go to each thing and like yeah. boop boop. Yep. But to like hot map. Okay, so I had my own electrical shit this weekend. Okay, so I had a. Uh, we have a f- attic fan in the attic, and I installed that some number of years ago. Is it a super? Super duper one, or is it like a? It's a it's a fan about this big, and it's up in the gable, and it has you know where the gable okay. vents are. Yeah, yeah. So I, ha- I have one of those too. It's yeah. not like the whole house fan. No, no, it's no, an no. attic fan. It's an attic fan. I got gotcha. you. So just for cooling out the attic. Yep. Um, and it's uh, temperature controlled, yep. right? Yep. And it's hardwired into the wiring. So when I originally put it in, my neighbor across the street is an electrician by trade. Uh, I had him come on. He's like, yeah, just go buy some Romex and I'll, I'll help you out. Yeah. So I installed the fan. He came over, came up in my attic and you know, he, this is what he does for a living. He wires it into this pl- outlet that's in the attic that okay. runs the furnace. So the furnace, literally it's the, the outlets like on the roof of the attic, the furnace plug just plugs straight up into it. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, well, there's also a light up there, right? You okay. You can flip the light on, and you can see, 
and it's right where the hole is in the hall where you get up into the okay. attic so you can flip it on and see shit. Oh. And uh, so flip the light on, light comes on, the furnace is plugged in, my attic fan, which is dead, is wired into the same box that has the plugs in it. Okay. And I'm like, well, this is sketchy because, I mean, Ed might get get away with my, the, my neighbor. Yeah. He might get away with doing this shit because he's a electrician. This is what he does all the time. Yeah. But I'm not going to shock the shit out of myself. I'm going to be careful this time because I'm talking about bare wires up in the attic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to shock myself and goddamn fall through the drywall or some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, I get to the point to where I'm up in the attic and I'm like... Get the new fan, get the old fan taken down, get the new fan kind of put in place, and I'm in a situation where I'm starting to get to the wiring part. Yes. Well, lucky for me, Chandler pops up. We have a like a access in the garage. Okay. So the whole top of the oh, house. Oh yeah, I've helped Chan from there. Exactly. Yes. So that you can get to where I was from there as well. Okay. The whole top of the house is open. Okay. And so Chandler popped up and he was talking to me from the other side of the house, and I'm like, hey, I need. I need some help. I got to turn off um, the power so I don't shock the shit out of myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had uh, my drill was plugged into the same socket, okay, mm -hmm. where the furnace is plugged in. There's two ports there, so I had it okay. plugged in. The fan, it's working. And so Chandler goes, and he starts clicking off. We're on the phone with each other. He's clicking off stuff. Is it off now? No. Click it. Finally, he clicks one off, and the drill's dead. Oh, Cool. I'm good to go. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. So start wiring. He comes up and we're he's helping me rewire the stuff. And I grab a wire and fucking shock the shit out of myself. Oh, boy. Well, what I didn't realize is that the bulb that is also wired into the same box is on still. So that box has a constant power. From, some, from, from a different breaker. I don't think that it would be from a different breaker. I assume it's just coming straight off the service or something. I don't fucking know. I don't know how this works. I, I'm not an electrician. So there is a constant power up there that the bulb is running off, but it's power. You can watch, You can trace the cable in the attic. goes right into the same box where my attic fan is plugged in. <laughs> Holy shit. And, and Not plugged in, but wired into. Yeah. So I don't know, and I'm thinking, well, my drill is plugged in where the furnace is, the same goddamn box that all of these things come into, mm -hmm. and the drill doesn't work, but yet I'm shocking myself. You went and got hot, but yeah, that's a super scare. Yeah. Because you're like- Because you're not expecting it's off. it. It's off. Yeah. I, I did my due diligence, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. to make sure the power was off. Normally- I mean, I've replaced plugs and shit in the house where I'm just like, ah, eh, I'm not going to do that. I'm up in the attic. The last thing I want to do is fucking fall through the drywall. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was careful. Still didn't get it done. But so it turns out we ended up just being gingerly <laughs> doing it. <sighs> yeah, get the car. Yeah, it's like when we were. Uh, we, we covered this story in Hangouts, but it's yeah. still funny because yeah. we were rerunning conduit and new outlets in the oh, okay. and my, mike and angie's yeah <laughs> and we you know he's done it he's done it probably countless times yeah. like you just you're you're skating a line you know you're skating a line but he's done enough it's like you know what to look out for and you're close so what what exactly are we doing because i i don't have a good picture of what it so is. so he has he was putting in uh, another outlet. So he in was the garage? in the garage. Okay. So he was going down a length of another from an outlet to another. He was making another outlet through for the, like galvanized pipe or yeah, something. Yeah, through okay. galvanized pipe. Okay. So he has the box open and the outlet exposed. Okay. And so the, we're and gonna, this is the one that you're going to be plumbing from, right? Okay. So we're coming from this and we're we're running. And okay. in the, I think I was pulling the outlet out at one point, uh -huh. and. Y you know, didn't turn off the power. We no, we're doing it hot, <laughs> and we both know that, right? Okay, yeah. it, we made no n no preconceptions that we should probably do the breaker. <laughs> I think we're both just like, 
rock out with the cock out. Yeah. Let's let's do it, right? Uh, high we, power? Who the fuck cares? Yeah, w- it's one only of, one team. One of us may end up dead. Uh, the other one will take care of the other one's family, and we're good to go. I mean, it's like a it's a it's a known known. <laughs> yeah. So I'm pulling out the out out of the box the outlet, uh-huh. and I graze the side of the outlet, oh. and it's hot. You know, hot, hot, as in power. Yeah. And there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a taser, and it's like, oh fuck! Oh shit! And I'm sure he probably saw the glimpse of like the spark like, oh, or the, quick the like, movement. The, oh, oh boy! <laughs> the pull mm, away. Daddy got a little bit of sauce on that one. Like, whoo! <laughs> it wasn't a lot, but it's enough to let you know Scare you. you got the side. Yeah. You, hey, motherfucker! It's hot. I'm here. You should have shut off the breaker, <laughs> dumbass. Uh, you know. It's it's the dad moment. It's like fucking my dad taught me better. I, I should I fuck. Sh- oh boy, <laughs> there it is. That's the business. That's the business. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going about like laying out length, bending out the pipe or whatnot. And I'm pretty sure he had done the same thing too. It's like you know he's trying to gingerly throw, and he kind of like <clears throat> gets to the side a little little bit of business. Yeah, probably not more or less than what the business I got. Okay, it was you know you're just trying to. You're walking the fine line. All right. So we get the length of pipe run. We get the new outlet run. And now he's starting to splice wires. And he's he's got the caps on. And now it's the... Put it back. Put it back in. You're tucking all of the shit in uh, the box. And he... I'm out of... No, it's not in mine. So I'm, I'm assuming what happens is he's probably grazing the side of yes. the plug. Yeah, he... I can't remember the, what it was. I think it was box. the plug. So he's trying to stuff the... Mm. Wires in, hold the plug, and something arced to something, and there it was like fucking Fourth of July for like a split second. It was like, <laughs> and like we're both kind of like, well, fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> all right, uh, well, let's. Uh, whoop, yeah. We he he still put it in there hot. Oh, shit. We're fucking. It's like ride lightning now. <laughs> like fuck it. it couldn't be worse. I didn't die. You didn't die. Fuck it. Let's roll. House didn't burn down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not my house payment. <laughs> Let's do it. Can you imagine yeah. calling the insurance guy? So the house we just bought. Yeah. Uh, do we have? Uh, <laughs> do we have coverage? Yet? Coverage yet? Is that did that policy did, go in did yet? We turn it on. Like what? <laughs> Hypothetically, if we haven't made a house payment yet, but the entire house wiring has to get redone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm calling you from my cell phone because my my brand new house is <laughs> a bunch of charred rubble. Also, <laughs> <clears throat> my girlfriend is chasing me with a chainsaw, <laughs> and it's fucking it's getting real. So I guess I don't have to worry about yeah. painting that stairway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <Whew. laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it, it'll, it'll learn you. Oh shit! Yeah, that that sucked. And I I when it hit me, fuck! Yeah. And Ch- Chandler's like, "You okay?" I go. Fuck no, that hurt. Yeah, I mean, what the hell, Especially, man? you know, because you're not expecting. You're not it. expecting when you think the breaker is off. Yeah, it's one thing when you're when and you're doing the dance. I didn't full on grab the wire like, oh, you know what I mean. I was being yeah. careful because you never know. You never yeah, know, <laughs> right? That, like, I'm walking around with a fucking airbrush <laughs> compressor, like trying to make sure yeah, that I know. You never know, and I was like, kind of being careful. And Chandler even said something. I'm like, you just never know, and I'm like, it feels weird because. I don't know. Maybe like it's not humming. off, and yeah. like I'm being kind of silly about it, almost to yeah. a certain degree. And <laughs> I just touched the wire, and it fucking hit me. And, yeah, fucking Chandler's yeah. like you. And then later on, I was telling my wife, she's like, and I was like, so you know, just electrocuted myself in the attic today. <laughs> and she's like, is that what that was? I heard Chandler ask you if you were okay. Yeah, you know, just. You see the little mild heart attack. Just, you know, just giving her a little jump. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's it's funny because I have probably shocked myself in that house about four separate times. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Okay. Yeah. Be be more careful. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. When you you're doing the dance, like you know the power's hot and you're trying oh, to yeah. like because you're apprehensive. Yeah. But when you think you've got it <laughs> off. Or you, you know, yeah. you're, you forget that you didn't, and so you, you're just blasé about it. It part stings. Yeah. Part the the surprise is like the fucking jack in the box thing. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I'm fucking forty four years old, and you still get me with the jack in the box thing, and people are gonna 
I'll well, jump. I, what, I, what comes back to mind is when Ed was up there wiring this stuff, did he know that the circuit or the circuit that he was using to run wire to the fan was a hot circuit at the time? It's got to be too different. And I say that because it would make sense that the furnace and the outlet are on a different circuit than the light bulb. Because if you turn off the, the, the light for the space trying to work on the other things, then that would be stupid. Yeah, so that you makes would sense. run a completely different breaker circuit to the light or the light is running off of some other breaker in the in the house. Well, I mean, I didn't look at the leads that go into that to right. that. It wouldn't outlet. be an always on thing. It's so just I, that something it's on another room's breaker. I mean, so I just I don't know I don't know enough about ele- electricity stuff. Maybe there's like a three pole wire coming into that thing and one's always hot and one's on the one's on the breaker you know what i mean i don't know i don't know how that shit works or if there's two wires coming from the breaker when mike gets to the episode he'll he'll read us i i don't know i don't know electric like like house electric uh, electric electricity house electricity just the wiring aspect of it like i don't understand it fully like the way they have stuff ran in the series like daisy chain yeah the way it's they a daisy- lot like a token ring network y- yeah and you like pick, yeah. The, when there's switches involved and like when you pull a switch out of the wall and there's a shitload way more wire behind it than you expect you're like this and is you're just like, one light there's i'm just yeah w- why and a garbage disposal or what the fuck is this yeah <laughs> I, I don't you know yeah. and some things are two wire or when you get up to like a ceiling fan and there's three wires and you're like wait what yeah you know what i mean like it doesn't fully i don't fully comprehend what? how all this stuff works or the difference between something like a 15 amp circuit and a 30 amp circuit is literally just the wiring in the walls have to change or can you put a 30 amp circuit on the same wire that's in the walls i don't know i don't know how that shit works or it's based on your panel size. I mean, that it just eludes me. I just don't understand. I don't know. I ain't even going to comment. I work in electronics, and I don't yeah, even get it. without putting my foot in my mouth. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. I, I feel like, I, you know, when I talk about electricity, it's just goddamn magic. Like, there's a constant uh, lightning strike at my house, and it's just lighting up everything. It's just magic. It just it's works. It's like the DeLorean. Yeah. You just kind of put stuff in the garbage. It's them. like the Tesla coil. I just have a Tesla coil outside my house, and my it just and my house just gets electricity from it. That's magic. I, I don't pay, know. I pay some dude with a direct deposit. There's a guy out back <laughs> pedaling on a bike, and the bike powers my house. I don't know. It works. That's how they do it in Nevada County. <laughs> PG&E, yeah. Yeah. there's a high windstorm. Go get on the bike. <laughs> They're shutting off the power in 45 minutes. <laughs> That's kind of true. I mean, if yep. you don't have solar, you got a guy pedaling a bike. Does he get paid overtime when they're shutting off the power, though? He's yeah, like, I hope fuck. so. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> My legs are tired, man. You got to get on there with like that. You know, I was cranks. thinking about this. I was thinking about this. The CEO of AJA came in, mm-hmm. and he came in. And then the shitstorm of all the PG&E power outages happened. Mm-hmm. That's this is all under his watch. Okay. okay. Nothing he has any control over whatsoever. Okay. Uh, and so a lot of tough decisions had to be made, you know, like how, whether or not they're going to pay people or if mm. they're going to pay, pay. I mean, he, this is all shit that he's had to deal with. And then he gets past that, and then the coronavirus hits under his watch. New CEO, right? Yeah. I mean, he was like VP of sales and marketing or something or whatever yeah. Yeah. before that. Now he's CEO. And he's just getting hammered with all this stuff. I just, I just crazy to me. But yeah, I mean, well, did you see the dit, the whole Disney thing, the because, uh, God, the head, the head guy for Disney. Oh, what's his name? Stepped down. Uh, he stepped down. Yeah, and then and then the they picked up the the new guy. They promoted someone. Okay. Uh, and then oh, well, this is probably two two and a half weeks ago. Oh, really? Uh. They <laughs> oh bring they, him in they right brought they brought it. the the old CEO who stayed on board uh-huh. on the out. on the board uh, and like took like a lesser position. Uh, he's effectively coming back in as CEO because 
the other dude was just you know it probably the same kind of same situation yeah. he's like okay listen uh we've done great with with pixar and we've we've hit the end of the mcu series like one and we're made tons of fucking money and we got fox now or fox movie rights and we got Marvel, and yeah. we've got Lucas uh, film, and, and we're fi- Disney we- Plus, and we got Disney Plus. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's my time to sh- to to exit stage left. I'm out. Right, and then fucking Corona hits, and you know the parks got to start shutting down, oh, yeah. and they got to start furloughing people. And you, you imagine like that that next CEO was like looking at stuff like, hey man. All I gotta do is cash oh, this yeah. check and like make sure they make good Marvel movies and good Star Wars movies. Yeah. Disney Plus. Everyone loves Disney Plus and Baby Yoda's fucking awesome. Yeah. This is the easiest job. Well, fucking uh we're gonna have to shut your parks down. Uh, uh, bitch say what? What and I mean I felt like I feel like uh Disneyland in general, like I don't know about Disney World, but Disneyland there used to be a time where you could pick a time of the year that was a slow time and go and it wouldn't be very busy. Yeah. I feel like that doesn't happen anymore. Those parks are busy all the damn time. Yeah. I'd agree. So they're I think they're at a point, especially at the price point that they're charging people to get in, where they have to be making plenty of money on the parks in ticket sales and in uh, you would, sales for from all a, of the from a plebeian standpoint, yeah. you would hope. I mean, right? But I, yeah. I've seen a number of, uh, when I say number, I've seen at least at least five five articles in like my timelines and financial news inputs. Uh, a couple uh, surround like Airbnb businesses, and that is particularly on the East Coast. Uh, people that are, you know, make shitloads of money on on Airbnbs, yeah, right? So right. they're renting out. It's almost like um, when I was uh, like getting into purchasing the first first home kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, at the time when the housing, before subprime, it was, it was almost a possibility for middle income, uh, middle income households to get into flipping. Yeah. It was like, uh, the easy money is so easy on like a home equity line that you could take twenty or thirty thousand out and use that to flip one or two houses and like and so there was a thing you at some point that was the thing it was yeah. like you could flip homes yeah flip homes right you know do a little bit of home renovation on something flip home Jesus I mean uh, TLC has tons of these the, and when the, they were kind of all born that, out of that time yeah. frame. It, yeah. t- that was the thing. I think that had has evolved at least in the last ten to fifteen years into like the Airbnb market, and that mm-hmm. was some of these. You're not flipping them; you're maintaining the mortgage and you're renting them out, right. not selling them. Uh, huge market, and now I saw, like I said, a number of articles where there are some of these home B and Bs like I. I have no money, and because everyone has to stay home, you know, I'm underwater on five to six mortgages. Right. And it's like, I've stayed at Airbnbs. I can only imagine what they're what it's like on the East Coast and the prices. Tons of people complain about how how high the prices are. Yeah. If you have five fucking mortgages, and you aren't, and you're making the amount of money that you're you're covering. Probably a rent, a mortgage payment in what would be four or five stays at your property. Right. And you're not squirreling that away for a rainy day. I have the smallest fiddle for you. Right. If you're not being money smart about those kind of profits. Yeah. Like, what do you, I, I, I have no sadness for you. Uh, you would hope. Well, it's an that unfortunate. From Disney, yeah, I it, mean, it's it an, is. It's an unfortunate event that, like, n- it, it, no one's ever seen before. Right, but if you're over leveraged to the point that if you're not, if your m- business plan and your business model yeah. doesn't take into account, uh, what if there's a? I mean, it's the East Coast. What if there's a nor'easter? Or, or like a Saint Hurricane Sandy that comes in and floods everything, and, and you have to go thirty days or longer without an income. Am I over leveraged? Yes or no. If I am, 
what are my contingencies? Yeah. If you're just someone that's mindlessly like we were before, well, but I mean, I like think flipping shit. But I think that you're. I mean, that's oversimplifying it to a certain extent. I think there's there's a lot of protections that would be afforded to you if a hurricane came in and wrecks your property. Right, but that's still a business something. model. You, I would never get into business without having. Oh, I know. If but, you could just say what would happen, regardless of. With no safety nets. But this is a lot of businesses in the country that are on the edge of a situation that no one ever saw coming. I mean, we're talking about two months. Yes, but some of of, these big, like you're talking about Disney and some of these ones where where we know the Airbnb business in these articles specifically. Yeah. Disney. Yeah. I would say, I would hope that Disney, as someone that's, that we can see profit margins for all of the Marvel movies, the money, the co- how much it took to buy Marvel rights. Oh yeah, you know the money that they make from parks, the the grotesque prices that we know that are charged for food. And, oh yeah, and I'm a a consumer. Yeah, I, I when I go, I mean, listen to the, any of the podcasts where we talk about Disney. I'm a oh yeah. Absolutely. Now that the, the Star Wars thing, I I overpay and I have zero fucks. Right, so, but. Because you enjoy it. Because I enjoy it. Yeah. But when we look at some of these things where we know that the CEOs of these companies are making 62, 50 something million dollars a year. Right. And there are some decent profits being made from the movies, decent profits, you hope, being made off of the foodstuffs at the parks, the tickets at the parks, the season passes for the parks. You would hope that while this is this is depressing and sad that as a business they are they have contingencies i would think big corporation like that probably you know someone like apple for instance i mean they have literally probably a billion dollars in the bank literally right and um, when they've furloughed i saw that they've disney has furloughed people from the parks and a lot of their their people are still getting uh, like healthcare coverage, yeah, I believe, yeah. I uh, so I, I think you know, at one you, point they even talked about they were still paying people or something about right. It. I don't know about that, you know. But it's like as terrible as it is, yeah. you would hope that if you can afford, and, and some of these high-profile CEOs are foregoing their own pensions in lieu of as long as the company is DOA, I, you know, I won't take it. You know, and I'm that's that's awesome. But yeah. when we come out on the other side of this, you hope that there's a reality check for not only business continuity in the event of a pandemic, but, you know, when shit hit the fan, you make millions upon millions of dollars yeah. and your your plebeians don't. Yeah. So what what do you do? To well, help I mean, make that a little bit better for everybody. There's a lot of situations where, you know, things just happen and maybe you're, you know, sometimes with business, like people get aggressive, right? You, you have an aggressive business plan or, or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there are probably multiple situations, I mean, probably thousands of situations like this where someone was in a business that they were poised to make a large change and like probably leverage things mm-hmm. to maybe expand or hire more people or whatever it is right before the closure happened. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like you now okay, I'm going to I'm I'm going for it. I'm going to be aggressive in this situation. Everything's going really good. I'm going to expand or whatever I need to do. Yeah. And I'm going to either take a chunk of stuff that I've earned, which is probably you know, a large chunk of it. Yeah. And I'm going to put it towards this or I'm going to get a loan or whatever it is. Right. And then suddenly something that no one has ever seen happen oh, yeah. before yeah, yeah. just fucking happens. And like now you have literally almost zero income. Yeah. I, mean, I, I can only just, imagine like the, the, the entrepreneur uh, yeah. that in, you know, uh, had some sort of occupational life change in November and went, you know what? Yeah. I have this idea. Yeah. Uh, you you spend November and December coming up with a business plan. You go to a bank. You get a small business loan, and you're like, food truck. Yeah. That's my jam. I'm doing comfort food, a food truck. Yeah. I have a number of sites that I've already lined up that 
uh, I have a couple of dishes that I've already tested with a bunch of people in the local area. Um, this is these are my expenditures. This is my plan. I'm ready to go. You get through the end of January, February. The bank says, "Here's your fifty thousand. We we believe you've got a successful model." By the way, your payment next month is right, <laughs> and then you uh, you spend February ish getting your truck. You spend thirty thousand dollars in equipment for your truck, and then March comes and you're fucked. Yeah. Like I mean that's that I mean like that you know that happened everywhere oh probably I mean that's but I do separate that aside from someone like Disney oh yeah or or Netflix large corporations and stuff like that I mean I I, yeah if they if if a large corporation's uh, being affected by this that means they probably weren't that healthy to start I yeah yeah I would agree and we um so Venus's birthday we we went to uh well we picked up. Uh, Lorenzo's. Oh, yeah. It's a family friend and a uh, proprietor of Venus's dad's pest control company. So we know the kitchen's clean. Right. This kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and good food. Love yeah. love the love the Mexican food. Uh, he's a local business, uh, and he said that you know it's uh, he had a conversation with Venus's dad, and you know was like, yeah, it's starting to. It's starting to hit hard. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we were already getting dinner there, but I'm like, you know, those those ones hit the spot. It's like, I yeah. know this person. Yeah. And now I know that this is hitting them hard. Yeah. It's, uh, so it's like, it's it's like the thing we were talking about earlier with- the, I mean, just because someone owns a business doesn't mean they're, like, swimming in yeah, money, right? Yeah, looking to, or looking to- A lot of businesses just- uh, survive yeah. and maybe make a little bit of profit so the people can live. Yeah. Uh, so we I you know, we you know, bought dinner and I was like, fuck, you know, how can I Yeah. Is you know, someone that still has I mean, what were we looking at? We're high twenty percent unemployment and looking depressed almost thirty That one, seems low. It it twenty percent? I think it was high high to mid twenties. Oh, in the twenties. And it's gonna you know like expected to be thirty something percent. That still of seems the entire low. country, filing that's not for surprising. Un- filing for unemployment. That's it's not surprising. Nuts. I tell you what, uh, Melanie's boyfriend Ian. <laughs> so he, Melanie, when she came home, filed for unemployment because she told was told we don't need you anymore. Right. And so she filed for unemployment. She hasn't seen any money come out, but I think she has. I think she knows how much she's supposed to be getting. Mm-hmm. EDD, I'm sure, is just getting hammered. But she hasn't seen any money. Uh, so she, her boyfriend, who also moved, they moved home at the same time, uh, he got a job back at his old place at Jack's Urban Eats. Okay. And he found out how much everybody's making on unemployment, and he's pissed because he's working and making less than everybody who's getting on unemployment. unemployment. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Of course, like I said, a lot of people aren't getting paid or haven't been paid uh, because they're probably just overwhelmed. But right, you know, uh, he's 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 like bummed about that. Like it, it bugs him, and it's like I could totally see that. Yeah, yeah, I could totally see that. I just want to know if you're an Uber driver, could you? Uh, get they unemployed? laid off a, both Uber and Lyft laid off people today. I saw. But I mean, you're an Uber driver. Are, are you still? Is it? I don't even know if it's per state or whatever. But are you an employee or are you a contractor? Because I think if you're a contractor, right, you don't have don't, rights to unemployment or something. Is that I right? I don't know. I don't know. And I saw another thing that the state California state attorney general was filing a lawsuit against for, however, that the Lyft and Uber are classifying their employees. Oh. So there's, well, there's, there's been, that, too. There's been fights with all those companies. Yeah. Those, uh, Gig ha- workers. Yeah, whether or not they're real employees, I think. Contractors. Yeah, the state wants them to be real employees because yeah. I think they make more money off of the taxes and blah, 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 and it's easier to collect. Um, I think there's a bit of that. But I don't, I don't know how that all works. My little brother, Scott, I think he drives Uber. Hashtag hi, Scott. Hashtag hi, Scott. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I have to ask him. No, I haven't had a chance to talk to him. Ah, it's all scary, man. 
Yeah. I mean, we've been pretty, you and I have been fortunate. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people we know have been pretty fortunate to be able to work at home. They get, it, of late, it hits me a lot like Christmas where I get like the, I'm very privileged and I feel like it's, sometimes I feel like, you know, could I be doing more? You know, I can't yeah. necessarily spend more money because, you know, <laughs> well, I don't, you, you already do that at Lowe's. Uh, right. You know, I mean, you know, I don't look the other way, but sometimes. <laughs> no, you, I mean, you go in for one know, thing and then you go look at the line right. and go spend So more. that reminds, that, that brings up another thing. <laughs> Tool bags. <laughs> What'd you call me? Tool, Fucking tool. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Not ball bags. Tool bags. Yeah. All right. I bought. So a, did you buy a new one? I bought a new tool. Or a new I, bag. N- neither. I don't want the bag. That's, That's the thing. Like, when was the last time you bought like a like a hand tool, like a sawzall, a drill, an impact drill? For me personally, yeah. Not very recently, but but uh, data's data's has probably yeah. has. What is, the, I don't understand the concept because I just bought a, an impact drill that I, I didn't have one. Uh, but this has happened with each tool that I own. Okay. They, they all come with like a little fucking tool sack. What? Like it, it's like a little like a handy little... bag that oh. you would keep your tool in. Oh. Like I don't know anyone that actually uses these. Well, they probably just toss like, them. I think I have like a sawzall one up there that it's, it's in a hard blue case. Like a, uh-huh. it's over maybe over there a blue big blue case. That's what she said. You know the little nail gun there. It has a thing. Uh-huh. But like the Ryobi, the sander, oh, the yeah, jigsaw, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. the, the skill saws. Do you use them? No, I chuck them. Okay. And and that's the thing. It's like one of those things. Like I don't understand why you're giving me this. Who? C- who keeps them in there? Uh, is I mean, what you're saying? Yeah. Who keeps the oh, tool bags? Oh, actually, you know what? You're right. I have uh, one that came with a drill that I got a while ago. Um, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But I'm like, I don't understand. I have the and one. The Dremel like, has the one. one. Like, there's a difference between like. So I've got like the the holes, the hole saw bits. Yeah. Like that. That's one thing. Yeah. It's like you to know, keep them all together. to keep them all together. But like really, bits and you, stuff. The the saw the the hole saw bits you can just stack and put somewhere. You can like. I probably you can you like probably Russian doll could. them and just yes you probably could and you would take up way but less room. But I in also your know what's in there. If I had a whole bunch of sacks up there, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, you want me to start putting mine in there? Yeah, I want there? you to put your sack up there yeah. so that I can try and figure out which tool is yours. <laughs> it boggles my mind. I'm like, why? Who's keeping all of their tools in sacks? <laughs> <laughs> I I I, can't, yeah. I don't know. Probably Mike would be the the next best person to ask because as a person with a truck, well, and on plenty of construction sites, who keeps their tools in a sack? So like a fabric sack? It's like a fabric sack. <laughs> I, I, like what you wouldn't be able to see it. Like well, in what, smaller I mean, tools, like a like, I mean, a, the, the like an orbital can, or a jigsaw. I mean, I can see if it's a hard case keep that yeah these are sacks i wouldn't know a, sack, like I'd a just fabric like, well, a heavy canvas fabric I'd zipped up sack put my balls in it once and then be done with I, it. I i got nothing yeah and i've even thought like well i've got enough of these now <laughs> what are you gonna do make it like, like i could put so, i could spread? start putting like nerf dart things in st- but then i wouldn't know what <laughs> was in i would I think a fucking an orbital sander was in it you could make a quilt with them you probably could. Just, like, stitch them all together. I mean, it's like, if, I'm like, who does this? <laughs> like, why would you? D- it's extra You want to call stuff. out a specific brand? Like, I have gotten one for every brand. Oh. The DeWalt Impact came with a sack. They just think it's cute, The maybe. Ryobi Orbital came with a sack. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the rigid, I have a rigid like, hammer drill. It came in a sack. <laughs> it blows my mind. <laughs> And sometimes the little, like the batteries and yeah. the extra chargers. Yeah. There's like, hey, you want another sack? No, I don't want another fucking sack. Register now and we'll send you another yeah. sack. Yeah, it's a free with a battery and a sack. <laughs> we'll send a tool. I, no. <laughs> I said, no to you, Purchase sir. this sack and get a free tool. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they came with free batteries, I'd buy all the sacks. <clears throat> right. You know. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this uh, whole sackage thing. And if it was a hard case, that'd probably piss me off more because then it would take up more space. Well, the hard cases are, I mean, depends on the thing, but there's certain things that you need that. 
<clears throat> yeah. You know. I don't think the saw. I had like, like the. You got lots of bits like a Dremel. Then, whatever yeah. the sawzall is up there, the like non cordless one. It came I, in a huge plastic box. Yeah. I think actually, that's probably why it's not up there when I went looking for it because I went. Why is it? Did you out? throw away the plastic box? I with probably the sawzall th- in it. And, and no, that's oh. the sawzall. Oh, that's the one. You know, it's like seventy percent sawzall. Well, maybe thirty <clears> percent <throat> case. I'm like, I don't need all of this shit. I'm gonna take the bits out and I'm gonna put them on a hanger so I can see what kind of bits I have. I left. think the intention is the intention on the. I don't know about the sacks. The sacks is a pretty weak way to store your shit. Yeah. But the the hard cases, it's like. You put it in the hard case, and you can put it on a shelf, and you can put other shit on top of it, or it on. You know what I mean? They're, yeah. They're gonna lay flat, and they're not gonna. They're gonna take up way more fucking room, but they're gonna be more organiz organ organizational, right? So then I have to label all the boxes <laughs> and sacks. Yeah. Well, that's why you need a um one of those little printer I have tab. One of those. Yeah. You need to just use. One yeah, of but those. that doesn't work on a sack. Well, the you fuck just the sacks. Start. And then if you're going to like you take it and no throw one... it around somewhere in like a truck or something, you'd be like, well, I just need all the cases. Well, what's in there? I don't know. I don't. And you know what the sack is for? I was just going to bring the case. It's for your lunch. You put your lunch in there, and then when you're on the job site, you just get your Ryobi sack. Oh, yeah. And you pull and out eat your, your ham sandwich. sandwich. And <laughs> you, Yeah, that's what it's for. <laughs> and your sippy cup yeah. or maybe a juice, juice, a juice box. Are you calling me a name? <laughs> You know, it's funny that you say that because my brother-in-law calls Data's juice box. Really? Yeah. Literally. Because he's nickname. infantile? No, it came from, uh, um, what's that, Kicking and Screaming, the um, Will Ferrell movie? Go get me a juice box, juice box. Remember that? Mm-mm. Oh, hilarious part. Anyway, uh, so he he started calling Data's juice box a long time ago. Oh, really? Yeah. So, hey, and then now it, I think he just calls him Deuce. Deuce. Douche? Deuce box or oh. deuce. Juice box, juice, whatever. It all fits in the same. We're close to time. Oh. Well, that's. Do you have Mother's Day plans? Hashtag happy Mother's Day. I have been struggling with, um, like, what a, what a, what to do. No. It kind of works out for us in, in relative to the times. Yeah. One, I you know, I spend a bunch of money on the kids' Needed new equipment for for school and whatnot. Yeah. So we kind of, you know, but it's Venus. So for her birthday, there wasn't, we had, we bought, I bought dinner, you know. Yeah. Kids will do something, you know. Yeah. Uh, but for Mother's Day, generally, like the practice around here is, it's like, what do you want? Yeah. As far as a, like a meal plan. It's yeah. like, whatever you want to eat, I'll make it or get it, or whatever it is. You know, it's like a. Mother's Day food <clears throat> extravaganza. So it kind of works out in our house that way that, you know, I can just, we don't have to go anywhere. We don't do like a go travel Sunday brunch at some restaurant. We just do it all in-house. Cause See, that's what we usually kind of do, like a brunch or a dinner or something. We hang out with Shanna's parents. <clears throat> yeah. Um, That won't be happening. So I don't know. I don't know what the plan is really. Yeah, I bought a chef's jacket. Uh-huh. Nice. And, and a hat. Oh, Okay. Is she, that's where I'm gonna stop because if, yeah, if you, she if she listens before oh, Mother's Day, oh yeah, are you not gonna wear pants? No, that's I'll try and serve it all before the kids get up. I mean, like, it's uh, this is a fruit here's cocktail. Your, here's your breakfast, wiener. and here's the nut cocktail. <laughs> it's in a sack. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, grab the sack. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. It's good. It's all right. It's all good. It's a mimosa. Yeah, and a beef stick. We're having uh. Pigs in a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the blanket. Yeah. Now we're going to wrestle. <laughs> we're doing Greco-Roman wrestling. Naked. <laughs> <laughs> With no clothes. None at all. All right. Anyway. Yeah, well, that's cool. I mean, you know, keep keeping on. Yeah. I had a happy Mother's Day. Happy to all the mothers. I hope you find a way to celebrate. Not to the motherfuckers, but to the mothers. Absolutely yeah, happy you mothers, got yeah. nothing coming. Yeah, but the moms. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They got some. All right. Anyway, well, let's uh, pull the plug. I guess we'll catch you next week. Have a good week, and we'll see you later.